Okay. Let's let's play let's play more Veil Guard. Alright, boom. Boom. I'll need to turn my fan on because I thought it was pretty cold with my door open, but now that I closed my door and I have the fucking ring light on, I'm warm. I think my audio on my side fucked up. Hold up. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see. No one else has any convos for us. To Memento? An amulet tarnished from age, a phrase in the archaic dwarven tongue is etched to the pitted metal. In Getras Tra Brator Vatunak Sach Atredum Pathasvel. Whatever that means. Do Dark Town? What does this mean? Sticks there. Red Lyrium is showing up all over the city. The Venatoria are using it for power, it seems. Nasty stuff, that Red Lyrium. Nightmarish. It grows like a parasite if it gets inside you. At the end, you're more Red Lyrium than blood. They finally took down both the Black Dragon, the one here, and the one in Dravisa. Do you think we'll see more? Keeping safe.
Must have all the goodies. Till next time. I think I've already bought everything I can. Peasant class. I've seen the type. Dangerous and damn slippery about it. You're right. She held such promise. I only wish. Uh, but wishing for the alternative, you'd find that naive. Can't say it changes th thing. A puppet panto. Huh. How delightful. Though Manfred has such an unpredictable reaction to puppets. Well, anyway. Uh, but wishing for the alternative, you'd find that naive. Can't say it changes things. Can't change that you were friends once, either. And for that, I'm sorry. I... Thank you, Nev. We're low on Antiven wine, since... Well, things could have been worse, eh, couldn't we? Alright. You seem quite oh. adventurous. Scrapes, bruises... <laughs> Lacerations? I can mix something up for it. I hope you're pleased. Carlos, yeah, yeah, yeah. Father gives me a lamp. Father gives me a shut up. There's dangerous fanatics, then there's Alia. She's loose in Docktown, and we're in the dark. What's the plan? The Threads and Alia's Venatori are at war. Quiet, of course. Neither side wants Templars on them. We stay in the Threads' graces, they share what they know. What about Rana? Can she help? I told Rana that Alia's back. She needs the warning. As for help, Rana wants to be an example. Not sure where that goes anymore. You're worried about her. I'm worried about everyone. <sighs> Tired enough to admit it. Doctown's protected. What can the threads do for you? Alia's a pain for both of us. Let's talk. We know people in this town. Neighbors. When they don't turn up on the rounds, we notice. Alia used the threads for dirty work. Stolen relics, muscle, spies. These people, they disappear. And you haven't reported it. We're not looking for attention. Besides, what have Templars and Magisters done for us lately? We've got you. And you won't stop looking. I've got names, missing ones, all yours. No catch. We're local. We know that's a lie. Just give me a catch I can live with. Have I mentioned I like you? Hmm. Bring this one around more often, Nev. This is war. We find Aelia, we kill her. Give the cult something to think about. You find her, you do the same. Docktown's ours. To Docktown. From the people who breathe it, bleed for it, no one's got its back like we do. To a better Docktown. And doing the best we can till then. <laughs> you go far. To home. Yes, I will. I think. I hope. I would like that. It would be nice. Was that it? Nev. That was the whole quest?
don't know if I can, I don't know if I have enough to buy from I have 44 etheric remnants. So I'm supposed to just accept that they're better because when I So you came in one morning and her desk was just Few people are worthy of an invitation, you know. <laughs> I, I, I should put that on the sign. I should get a sign. <laughs> Is this what I'm wearing? I don't know what I'm wearing. I forget what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the necrotic ring. No. Variability armor damage from area. I have a lot of ores. I think what she was researching. <laughs> Interest you in a tapestry? Interested in something that glitzes? I can help. Come back soon. I also sell maps for those Everything with wanderers' hearts. Made right here by these dexterous hands. Hmm. I wish these other merchants were like kind of marked on the map. I put everything into getting this space, Hell and I'll yeah. get you into the right armor. Silver, gold, gemstones. We'll get you. Okay, so this is healing and charge belt. It's more physical damage and an additional bleeding stack on potion use. This is the one we need to get upgraded. Product belt.
This is currently getting necrotic weapons. I need to shit. <laughs> I need to put on a light helmet. I'm stupid. Clicking on perfect dodge. Strike, strike. Let's see. Yeah. Keep that. This is weapon damage. I actually might want to do Precious Decay. I think I want to keep the momentum increased. No, nope. no more momentum. Is that back? Damage versus bleed. If we were to pair that here, if all hits with this weapon apply bleed. Let's let's see how those two pair together. Something just right. Back to the lighthouse. Nev and Conus. <gasps> Bell and Davern, what you two chatting about? You'll find them. The other Griffins, I know you will. I appreciate your faith in me. Hope it's not misplaced. It isn't. I've seen it. The way you care for Asan. You tear through three archdemons for him and for his family. So I know you'll find them. <laughs> Means more mouths to feed. Strike ability damage. And then. I want to do momentum gen? I think we do. That's ultimate generation. I think we want to do affliction duration. It's dead.
supper in Docktown? What's the occasion? I've got leads to chase on Alia and Docktown's missing people. A few sources will only talk if I'm alone. But if you're around after, you help me uncover all this. Supper's on me. Sure. Hell yeah. Count me in. Let's fucking go. See, <laughs> then it was Lucanus. Wants to chit chat. All right. Oh, demon boy. Oh, great. Is it your turn to cook? What's all this going to be? Baella. Well, two of them. One without seafood for Emric. So you're making dinner for the team. Twice. Everyone has to eat. Yes, but you make fancy dishes with names. I cook whatever I find in the pantry and hope no one dies. Cooking is just a hobby. Sometimes it's good to do something that isn't work. I've never really faced any problem too big to solve. Now there's spine, the gods, Treviso. It's hard to ever feel you're doing enough. But here, now, I have people I can care for. Something as small as providing a treat feels big enough to matter. It's a good way to look at it. Oh, that's a nice way. I like that. Varan Hazelnut Tort. Hold on. Oh, hold the fuck on. Oh, damn it. Uh, Belara has image plans for the future meals at the lighthouse, which she leaves to the two of us. I've been tasked with suggesting substitutions or ingredients are not available. Some of our own suggestions are rather inventive and would create a balanced flavor profile. Viago speaks often on the art of masking certain tastes. Perhaps I should set up a meeting so they can compare notes. Perhaps enemies of House Dariva won't last much longer. Where's the where's the tort? I want the tort. I wanna see if What the frick, dude? Mm. So I could go back to Docktown. <laughs> back to Docktown. Oh, this one's down there. Oh, I know where that. That's the fucking fastest way to get to it. Right. This big thing. Mouth is worth the price. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Posh, I gotta reach your own stream file. Oh, I remember. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? My family isn't Altus either. You can find success. I forgot what I put. <laughs> even if you're not from one of the old families. Sometimes all you need to do is just have to die. People will come to this point, but I shouldn't have to act like something. I'd like to run into some enemies real quick to see how fast I can. Oh, yep. Speak it. The Stop. fuck is that thing? From a distance. Okay, this thing's fucking annoying. I was out. Dude.
That could have gone a whole lot better if I was good at games. I think the build is still good. I'm just stupid. I'm just not good. Well, I'm late. Tried grabbing something from Hal's on the way, but the fish fry's not running. So much for supper. What have you been doing? Chasing leads. On Alias Venatori, Darktown's missing people, and anything that might come close. Find anything? Plenty. Something I can use is another story. So here we are. I'm out of leads, and you're out that supper I promised. I still get time with you. Can't say no to that. Because our time in the city is always a breeze. If we ignore the Venatori and the demons and... You're easy to get along with. Well, put it like that and I'd have to say likewise. Things could go great. Anything can happen. Well, look who has a bright side. I can when it comes to you. Oh! So what now? Anything you want. Ooh. Name it. <laughs> I could use a walk and some rocks. Rocks? That's right. What do we need rocks for? So, rocks. Look for good ones. You were serious about this. You'll see why. Let me pick the kitty first. <laughs> oh, Are you keeping Nev company? Or hoping for a treat? Yeah, pretty again. Oh, it purrs. Look for good rocks. Look at this fine rock. Are you making fun of me? Never. This is quality Minrathus gravel. Well, aren't you the expert? Damn. So many rocks. How to choose? You said anything I want. I trust you have a plan. Because plans go well for us. I trust you, then. It's not called cursed because of the wrecks. If a smuggler can't handle the rocks and shells, they should have hired better and no one's crying. But the blood in the sand, don't you think it's thin the veil? I think nothing crawls its way through. Is it worth a speck of gold? Then there's another kitty. Kitty! Oh, can't fit the kitty. All right, time to put these rocks to use. Come on. A kitty. Okay. How are we doing? With the rocks or in general? Let's stick with the rocks. In that case, so far so good. Still trust I have a plan. I'm with you either way. I have no clue what we're doing with these rocks. Liope, you're still going? Cassus doesn't have anyone else. Flyers won't do much. I don't have a lot to work with here. Ah, give me some. I'll help. Over here. I'll take you to my usual spot. Fancy. Isn't it? Usual. Is this what you do when you're out of leads? I'd look over my notes, but I've got them by heart. I just need to clear my head. Nev Gallus, without her mind racing. I'd hardly know you. Aren't you clever? So, what are you thinking? 
And you can't count on a lot here. When I started, I wasn't going to save Minrathus, never mind Thedas. But if I could take a job and follow through, well, maybe people could count on me. But at the end of the day, what have I done here? What sticks? If people like Aelia come back for more... I've, I've never been able to skip a rock. I've always been bad at it. I'm fighting, Rook. Sometimes it feels as though the city itself stabs me in the back. Not on my watch. Commitment! <laughs> I'm here for you. Are we gonna riz her up? I'm getting that impression. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. There was a noticeable getting mixed up animation with me. and cutscene quality jump. No. Why do All our that... lips look like that? All that I want you to. It's not crazy. Why are we like doing the? There's a lot to lose. Isn't there always? Ah! <laughs> Our face. What the fuck? Have I told you your trouble? Hey. Oh. You've got something. Maybe. Come on. Um, how do how do we get something out of that? I don't understand. <laughs> Well, ready to chase a long shot. We need to get to the spillway. Why? You've got something on Alia? We were watched. By the cat? Sure. I mean at the relic deal. When Alia controlled Damas, she mentioned Bataris in the stolen relic. Why bring that up? Why would she care? Do you think she was involved? Or one of her puppets. She's been careful, but there may be something to pick up at the site. A witness. Anything. So we're returning to the scene of the crime, where we fought Bataris? It's just a hunch, but it's the best I've got. I'm with you. Let's see what's there. What's the plan? Bataris had a red Lyrium relic. Those don't play nice with the veil. The Viper left me a piece of one in case there was more to track. Remnants fade with time, but if we got here soon enough... Remnants. We've got them. Fainter than the ones we found before, but I'll see what I can draw out. Let's take a look. I've got this. Echoes of greed, pride, are venatory, but Taurus. Here goes nothing. The Thread Smuggler. But this feels scrambled, two people's thoughts in one source. She wasn't a traitor. She was a puppet. Alia moving goods to her followers. Look there, there's more. By the waterfall. Look, I realize you just kissed a girl, and now I've got you chasing leads. I realize I kissed Nev Gallus, and this is part of your charm. And I thought you were sweet before. Riz. <laughs> you bet. Yeah. This Hello. one's afraid. A witness? Someone else showed up too, after we left. If I can pull out more of an echo, a memory. So Nev Gallus is back. Tell me what you saw. Nothing, I swear. Alia. My head, stay out. 
A bystander? They must have seen the fight. Then Alia showed up. Tell me, would you see this city rise? Be a thrall in service to its glorious rebirth? Thrall? No, I... No! Silence! Your will... ...belongs to the Venatori. All that talk of saving Tevinter, is this what it looks like? The risen god will unlock my true power. He's given me Vena Vitalis. We start here. What's Vena Vitalis? A rumor, an old Tevinter ritual to increase blood magic. Fake accounts appear on the black market. The real records were burned by magisters. It scared them. But if Aelia cozied up to Elganon, an elven god might know the trick. Or something close he could trade as our legacy. A blood ritual. Then the missing people... It's a lead. But where? When? Who else does Aelia break before I track her down? Nev? This place means something to me. But what am I to it if I can't... You'll catch Aelia again. Docktown's got someone looking out for them. They'll see that. <laughs> Will they? Who got us, Pataris? I know, but Aelia plays dirty. Maybe we should play clean. I'm a sucker, Rook. Getting caught up in all this. <laughs> Bad habit. You're not alone. And that's how it is. How it's been. I know. But it doesn't have to be. Not with me. I mean it. I know. Jeez. Full of Riz today, god damn. Oh, we do have a new quest available here. But down there. One. Looks like it. Where the fuck do I go? Emric, when you catch up to Hesenkars, just know where your exits are. Sometimes you think you've got someone backed into a corner, and you find yourself there instead. Speaking from experience? Too much of it. I'm sorry. And the advice is well taken. How about that? Like 
Expecting the Venatori to show up. I heard mention of shipments. Perhaps. Let's look around. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Human. It's a person or elf. Oh, thank the Maker. Did you find the others? What others? Those mercenaries have abducted people from around Doctown, then sold them to the Venatori. I heard them talk about a warehouse. They could be holding them there. We'll look into it. The warehouse where we found the Darkspawn isn't far from here. I thought the Shadow Dragons were keeping an eye on it, but let's check, just to be safe. So good. Let's see, duration. Hour ten, ten, ten. Let's look around, see what we find. Venator, the resin gods require flesh for crafting and blood for power. Find cell swords willing to trade on what they seek. You will be rewarded. Well, that's not good. Sounds like blood magic. Found a crew down by the docks willing to get what we want. They say they've even taken down Canary before, and they'll get you the price. Trafficking in people. Vile. We need to stop this. Once you've made the exchange, take the prisoners down to Low Tide Beach. We'll hold them there before we move them. Low Tide Beach. Let's go. This is where I had my date with the nerve. Well, well, we fetched rocks just a few minutes ago. Oi, Venatory bitches! Oh, hello. Find him. 
it's dead. That's these Venatori down. As it should be. The more scattered we make the cult, the better for Darktown. We'll get you out of there. Hang on. Oh, I thought he was dead. He looks dead. Pretty sure he's alive. No, he's alive. You all right? No, but mm. I'm alive and grateful. They were going to take me somewhere. They, they talked about rituals and risen gods. Venatory, it's always the same old tune. Do you have somewhere to go? Some place you'll be safe? I, I... I don't know the city. Go to the docks. Ask for directions to the pawn shop. When you get there, tell them Gallus sent you. Almost at Max there. Head back to the lighthouse. Nev, Emmerich, Anas. Trust me, it's her. And we're lucky. If someone found the body before us, she would have been cremated. Ugh, I'll never understand that custom. What are you two up to? Rook, it's very exciting. Nev's invited me to help solve a murder. Well, if anyone's gonna gather clues from the dead... I helped the Navaran city guard a few times, but a long-lost crime from the heart of Tavinta... Let's not oversell it. You ready? By the flame that stoked you, by the light that rises, return and speak. What do you want of this one? You were a shadow dragon. Someone took you out. She's already digging in. Be firm. Why should this one speak? For a chance to right some wrongs. One last time. Speak with no promise of answer. You helped get people out of the city. Who was the last person you took? No, no. Secret. This one's to protect. They're clinging to a role, keeping secrets. Fine. Then tell me who killed you. Did you see their face? Their name gives the other away. If they came for you, then they're coming for whoever you helped escape. I'm a shadow dragon too. If you started a job, let us finish it. By the pacts of the Watchers, we would not ask, were it not important. This one saw the murderer's face. Moranus. His son wanted out for Black Mage family. This one got the son to Asario. Help him. The Shadow Dragons will get him to safety. Thank you. The spirit has left us. Thank you. For trusting me with one of your dead? Wouldn't leave that to just anyone. You're a different story. Thanks for the help. Anytime. I retired Birdman a couple streams ago. After 20 some hours of Birdman, I felt it was it was time. Now we look like this. Though I don't quite like this, but it's the best we can do. Right now. What you doing, girly? This place even smells wrong. We've been here for a while, Harding. Um, that building is spinning. 
How many hours are you in? 45? No, no. I had to kill a man once who did blood magic on nugs. A hundred little pigs with hands came after me. All together in one big writhing ball. Have you ever tried to stab a ball of angry nugs? That was a bad job. I've got a better one. You know what the Wandering Hills are named for? It's a monster. Big heap of red tentacles that crawls around, devouring everything in its path. The damn thing was a hillside, the eyes of a village. You try fighting a hill with a sword sometime. How did you kill it? Lamp oil. Everything stank of burnt tentacles for miles after. If the two of you were gonna open a bottle, you might have told me first. It's not a good bottle. Might have to pick up a supply. I have a feeling we'll need it. Is anyone else hungry? Maybe I should cook something. What about you, Rook? What's the worst job you've ever been on? Nevin Harding didn't tell you about our hunt for Solus, then. They don't tell it the way you would. Hmm. I mean, it ended with the elven god of lies in my head. Is that enough to win the worst job contest? You joining us then? Fine. I'll cook something, if Rook's staying. Maybe just for a minute. Rook's story first. Then Lucanus owes me one about this contract on a Bronto. Mierda. That Bronto. I... I like these companions um more than i do the dragon age inquisition companions like the inquisition companions kind of had for me half of them i maybe liked this one i kind of like all of them i mean i do i when Tosh and Ballara are written well, when they are taken seriously by the writers, they are very enjoyable characters. But they are unfortunately not taken seriously by the writers most of the time, it seems. It's good we've got you here. You can tell us what elven stuff starts fires when you pick it up. That's the plan. That, that, that's the whole dialogue between... Let's see if I make a new outfit. No. Not too venatory. Yeah, I got the N7. Is it here? Oh, it's right there. But I think
Fuck it, we'll roll with this as our casual wear. Cauldron. Take the grenades. No oh, rogue. Rogue. Why don't I have like good rogue gear? Fuck it. Bird. Bird is back. Well, I haven't come across any other uh, animal heads yet. There could be. Am I able to... Nope. No access to... New stuff yet. Okay. We will go to Necropolis Halls then. For Emrex quest.
Manfred is waiting. Now, what do you have to say for yourself? Did I miss something? Uh, since we're here to gather flowers for the dead, I thought I'd teach Manfred some plant names. But I just caught him attempting to wade into a rose bush. <coughs> Emmerich, how could you stay annoyed at that face? Uh, skull. <coughs> Oh, Manfred, whatever will happen to you if I pass on? If? Ah, there's something I'd like to talk about. Do you know what a lich is, Rook? Lich? That's old Tavine for corpse, isn't it? A lich is a mage transformed into one of the undead while retaining their true, original consciousness. The idea fascinated me when I was younger. For years, I researched and experimented, spoke with spirits and mages. Then, eventually, I found them. Who? The lich lords of the Grand Necropolis, necromancers before me who'd transformed themselves into true living dead. Not everyone gets to meet their idols. Oh, but I was nervous. The liches are the great protectors of the necropolis, bulwarks against forces that threaten creation. After years of tests and rituals, I love Manfred they granted so much. me my desire, the right to attempt lichdom. That's great for a necromancer, right? It is a singular opportunity. Uh, good? Lichdom is an incredible honor. Immortality, prestige, the most hallowed ranks of the Watchers, as well as a chance to be of service past my allotted years. But there are considerations. And what are those? Come, we have flowers to gather for the dead. Okay, but I've got questions. Blue creep vine. This will do nicely. Emmerich, aren't most undead just random spirits inside corpses? Liches are different. It wouldn't be a spirit acting in my name. My true consciousness would be housed in my departed flesh. How? The Order must keep some secrets. Ah, moon blossoms, famed in verse and song. It smells like perfume. Do liches have a sense of smell? I've been told that while some of my senses will dull, others will become available. Other than that, I can't say if the flowers would still hold their bloom for me. Lichdom serves a purpose. There are dark things in creation, threats to both our world and the Fade. The liches of the necropolis have the insight and the abilities to oppose them. And you're joining them. When? Certain elements have held me back. And what would those be? There's no ready instructions for lichdom. The steps must be discovered on one's own over years to be fully understood. Does the spell to become a lich kill you, or do you have to... No, mercifully, that falls to another Watcher. After my death, my soul will be drawn back into my body instead of moving on to whatever lies beyond. Okay. So, what's holding you back from lichdom? Even with all my preparations, there's a chance I could die, permanently, during the rites. What cowardice! The promise of immortality, an end to all my fears, and the final veil stays my hand.
If you want Lichdom that badly, you have to go for it. Oh, you know, I always thought I'd find the courage when I grew older. Traditionally, candidates for Lichdom face one final sifting of the soul. If they avoid it, you saw my old colleague. Hesengoss. She's a lich? A half-lich, though that hasn't diminished her powers. Until I stop her plans, I won't possess the peace of mind for lichdom. Why don't you select the next flowers, Rook? Sure. So what's a half-lich, exactly? Johanna attempted the rites of lichdom and failed. Stuck in her in-between state, she is supremely dangerous. What about the sifting of a soul that Hesenkas avoided? The spirits of the necropolis judge whether a candidate is worthy of the power and responsibility of lichdom. How'd she become a lich without it? I shared some knowledge when we were colleagues. She apparently put together more than I knew. It would be just... For a watcher, Hesenkas is pretty harsh on spirits. We made allowances because of her discoveries. Too many. Spirits are not things to be disposed of. You really care about them? They're so susceptible to the world's whims, Rook. Some spirits are dangerous, but how quickly most respond to a bit of kindness, or care, or simple attempt to understand. For all she's done, I can't condemn Johanna for attempting lichdom. That freedom from mortality, that divorce from fear. And of course, time to read all of one's books. Of you know course. what, you sold me. But how she's abused her abilities. Are my intentions enough to fare better? Worrying's a good sign. We have enough flowers. There's something I'd like to show you. Here we are. Oh, so these flowers are for... Yes. If you could place them on the graves, parents, please. Aren't they? In memory of Rupert yep. and Eleanor Volcaren, they walk eternity hand in hand. After I became a watcher, I erected a proper shrine to my parents. When I come to talk, I like to think they listen. Well, don't be shy. Introduce yourself. Rook, it's a pleasure. Do you remember your parents? Some memories are bright. Others are akin to those dim early morning dreams one gets sometimes. Lately, I wondered what they'd think of our current course, the choices ahead. Your lichdom. What would they have wanted me to be? I can tell you what I think they'd want you to be. What's that? Happy. You could always speak with your folks, couldn't you? My parents last saw me as a boy. By the time I mastered my corpse whispering, I was a man. If I woke them, there might be a flash of recognition or, besides, if I speak to too many other spirits, Manfred might grow jealous. Can't have that. Hmm. He'd be impossible. I agree. I need more Manfred. <laughs> there needs to be more Manfred in this game. There's not enough Manfred.
Let's go to the hospital equipment. What's let's get you ready? You know where to find us. Thanks for tagging along, Rook. Those feelers I put out about the Gloom Howler turned up something. Evka, I got your message. I figured you'd want to hear this. This is Davrin and Rook. You can trust them. What's your name? I, uh... You're in a town full of Grey Wardens. It's probably the safest place in the world right now. How can we help? My name's Valya. When I heard about Wise Helped, what happened? I once trained to be a Grey Warden, but I left before the joining. It's not for everyone. It wasn't that. It's... I'm the one who found the Griffin Eggs before they hatched. I've got about a million questions. Mm -hmm. But why come to us now? I knew some of the Wardens who were caring for the Griffins, Remy and Lancet. I think I know what killed them. The Gloomhowler. It's a Grey Warden, isn't it? An elf. But that's all we know. Yes. Her name is... was... Isaiah. I found her diary. She was a mage. She blighted all the Griffins during the Fourth Blight. What? Upon direct orders from the First Warden at the time. She had no choice. This was centuries ago. Why would they do that? In her diary, <laughs> Why would they do that? Isaiah said the blight was going badly. The wardens couldn't win. They turned to blood magic. The griffins fought harder, longer. I see where this is going. Isaiah didn't want to do it. But orders were orders. It won the war. But then... The griffins became rabid. They turned against the wardens. So then the first warden turned against them. He ordered them all destroyed. That's why they're extinct. I can understand why this Asaya is so pissed. She felt betrayed by the wardens forcing her to do it. As penance, she hid the remaining eggs with a protective spell. Mm. I followed the clues and found them. That was 400 years ago. She shouldn't even be alive. Her last entry said she left for her calling. Then she's probably in the deep roads. Blighted. Twisted. Oh, no, Asan. Asan? I was there the day you hatched. You've grown. Careful. He's a shameless flirt. That's because he's such a pretty boy, isn't he? <laughs> I remember feeding him ginger wort truffles as a baby. So, you're the reason Davern's been hunting mushrooms instead of monsters. Anything for the prince. I don't see a crown on your head yet, boy. There should be. Griffins give the Wardens hope. Something to rally around after Wise helped. Please find his brothers and sisters, whatever it takes. We owe them so much. Count on it. Stay safe, Asan. <laughs> This is good information, but it still doesn't tell us where the Gloomhowler is. No. 
But the other wardens will keep looking. The Gloom Howler, Isaiah, can't hide forever. Okay. We've got that mystery solved. You miss White Hot sometimes. Sometimes. Me too. Evka, Antoine, you needed help with something. Is this about your studies? Look at the blight here. The world dies like this if we do nothing. We need a deeper understanding of how it behaves. I have theories, but something's wrong. We've been keeping Darkspawn away from Lavendel, but those have been packs. What's heading for us now is a small horde. We push it back, or the locals wind up dead. I won't let these people get crushed. If Lavendale needs help, they've got a Shadow Dragon on their side. What is it you say to each other? Bring the light? We could use some. Where do things stand now? Every warden will put themselves between Lavendale and the Blight. But we'll be spread thin around the village. There's only so many of us. We need to make that work. Your plan to get us through is a good one. I gave advice and people listened. You credit yourself too little. Everyone here needs a break. The Whartons aren't big on vacations. But wouldn't it be nice? So what now? What can I do? There are sentries equipped with horns stationed around the village. Those horns are sounded when an attack begins and again if backup's needed. That lets us focus our numbers. I need you to check with the sentries. Make sure they're ready. I'm on it. We can do this. All right. Take that can-do spirit to the rest. Check back with us when you're done with the sentries. We can hold off the smaller packs for a while, but there's no going back once the horde hits. All right. Come on, let's check on the warden sentries. Efka and Antoine. Got closest. Hey, how are you guys? Well, look who it is. Name's Warden Augustine. Evka sent me. How are things here? The Darkspawn aren't on us, but they will be. I can feel it. And you go where the fight is, don't you? Tell Evka I'm ready. We'll hold Lavendale. that up. Ten gold. We're rich. Hey, Evka wanted me to check in. Are you ready? I am. The Darkspawn won't win this one. We've got you. Let's kick some ass. <laughs> yeah. We took yeah. those dragons. We'll take this too. Evka sent me. How are things here? Evka's plan is sound. We'll stand together and see it through. We won't fail. Tell Evka we're ready. Huzzah. We should get back to Evka. We should get back to Evka. Why was that piece of dialogue there? <laughs> Why was that line? That line was so not needed. Nothing we can do. Village. It has to make it. 
Evka, the sentries are ready. Good. Are you? That's a horn. The Darkspawn are here. Sounds like it came from the glade. Let's move. Oh, oh. We can't let them break through to the village. Lovendell is the only haven left in this part of the underbelt. And this shadow dragon made a promise. We... We keep people safe. plan is working all right be ready for the next call we could check on the caves see how the fight is there or head to the farmlands oh making me have a choice clearly that means no one will get overrun right clearly the one i don't go to won't get overrun They don't need me. Another horn. Thank <laughs> you. 
I had it under control. Thanks for having my back. You took more than your share. Antoine. What is it? What is it? Something evil. A strange cutting in the blight. Something to look into. Yes. But that's what we do. And today, we won the day. He's right. Take that with you. When the next thing comes, we'll handle that too. Suspicious. But okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. It's in here, too. You're sure? It's faint, but yes. Is something wrong? Yeah, but first, you deserve some thanks. Lavendel is safe. They still need our protection, of course. But we won this fight together. Thanks to Evka's plan. If we're giving Evka credit, then I won't argue. Fine. Credit taken. Ooh, you flirt, Antoine. Now, as much as I hate changing the subject. Right. Antoine, you sense something strange. What was it? The Blight song wasn't just strange. At first I heard the gods. But now... There's something else. And it's here. In the wetlands. It pulses. Weird. Pulling somewhere dark. It sounds... I don't know... Pleased? What does that mean? We don't know yet. I would just off Likely myself. nothing good. Antoine, are you okay? What? Yes, of he course. not okay. I'm fine. We need more He's time to fine. study what the new song means and where it leads. And you can't listen to it all the time. We don't know what it is. Evka, I... But yes, we have many different tests to run. Remember to visit Hook. We'll have results eventually. Until then, stay safe. I'm not a fan of this armor on my Rook. Antoine, what's on your mind? It's like there's a pattern in the blight, and no pattern at all. But always something pulling. Harding Lucanus and Dav are all up.
So, you and Brooke? Do I want to know where this is going? It's not going anywhere. I, I mean, I, I don't mean your relationship's not going anywhere. I, I mean me, my question. <laughs> right. It's just nice, and you can solve cases together. We could do that before. But now, it's romantic. Valara, I like you. <laughs> I gotta give Asan a hug. Or a boop on the snoot. That works too. Hey, Rook. I was planning to take us on to the woods in Arlathan soon. Want to keep us company? Sounds good to me. Hassan will be glad to hear it. Needs to stretch his wings. Mm, this smells amazing. Does all coffee smell like this? Or just the stuff you make? Coffee has a distinct aroma, if that's what you're asking. Sorry. It was really rare where I grew up. And expensive. Is it really a good idea having another coffee addict around here? It's not really addictive, is it? <laughs> Tell us, Lacanus. Is it really addictive? You know I have my reasons for drinking it. So, Harding, what do you think? <coughs> it's... Mmm, delicious. <laughs> I hope she... Lucanus, don't tell me you just gave her black coffee. Really selling it, Harding. <laughs> hey, I've known some liars, and I am definitely not it. And, and this stuff? It's good. It's warm. I won't be upset if you don't like coffee. He really wouldn't. I know, but... Ugh. Sorry. It's just this thing I do sometimes. Acting so people will like you? That sounds terrible when you say it like that. <laughs> Damn, I know <laughs> I don't need to do it. I just do. Well, everyone you know seems to like you, so you're good. Good job, Lace. You must have been pretty tiny as a child. Where'd that come from? A tiny dwarven girl in a land of large human farmers. No. Oh. Yeah. I probably learned pretty quick that things worked out better if people liked me. If they agreed with me, or I agreed with them. Some people like cream or sugar in their coffee. Maybe coffee just isn't my thing. That conversation was a little awkward, but that's okay. Let's see, there's an achievement for jumping from a high point. What if I just fall off the map? No. Where can I jump from? The fall damage. I'm gonna guess. Here? The highest point that I can think of. Oh, but I can't. What? Okay, not here. Tosh and Emic are having a chat. To think Morrigan was the transposition of Mythol. The what? The carrier of the spirit. Not as a full possession, but gaining memories of the past. Yeah, okay. Rumor has it Morrigan helped the Inquisitor, possibly by turning into a dragon to 
She what? How'd she do it? What kind of dragon? Well, I wasn't there. We have to ask her next time. I don't think she turned into the dragon. I think it was a... No, she didn't. Frank. Did she? I don't think she did. Be at me to sell you a bit or a bob, or both. Till next. All right. The dragon's a fang scorcher that attacked villages. We're close to her lair. This shouldn't be too bad, right? We fought two dragons at once in Hosburg. The dragons we fought in Hosburg were being ordered around by the gods. They were attack dogs. This is a wolf, a big wolf, fighting in <laughs> her own territory. Be ready. This is your first real dragon fight. No. It's not. But you sure. said the dragon's a fang scorcher. What are they like? Fire breather, related to the Ferelden Frostback. Think of her like the dragon version of a bobcat or a fox. It's a little larger than a bobcat. I mean, she's small and sneaky for a dragon. Attacks with fire from a distance to soften up her targets. And she's mean. Scorchers hold a grudge longer than my mother. You said she attacked villages. Are we dealing with another attack in a city like Treviso or Minrathis? No. Something got her to start hunting a ways off. Something like what? Dunno. Hoping we find out while we're here. But right now, focus on taking her down before she kills anyone else. Including us. This is your dance. Show us the steps. Stay in the trees as long as you can. It's gonna get hot when she sees us. Alright. Hey, you ready for this? The dragon's a lot different from the corpse stuff you usually fight. I'm roughly familiar. Leaf, there aren't enough veil jumpers for us to wait for reinforcements. We have to do this ourselves. You play a song on your loot to catch the dragon's attention. I can take Night Fang and circle around wherever it lands. And you can hide near its boat hoard. We got some special areas I've been waiting to try, and Night Fang can howl to keep the dragon confused and then hamstring it so that I can get the shots I need. Might not kill the dragon when we drive off. With their overall anatomy, Navara has a storied tradition of dragon hunting. So storied they nearly killed all the dragons in that part of the world. Well, yes. Admittedly, most of my knowledge comes from preserved specimens. Hang on. Something's off with that crap up ahead. Let's go up through there on the left instead. What's wrong? I don't know. The way that debris is placed doesn't look natural. Or like something a dragon would do. You are our expert in the. Derek, I joined the Veil Jumpers to meet people and see neat magic, not to fight dragons. It's a terrible idea, and you and me, your pet wolf, and the turtle that lives in my backpack are all going to die. These things, Tosh. I'm sure you're correct. <laughs> from a half mile away. You heard Tosh. Light steps. You know how to take orders. We're here to kill a dragon. I'm inclined to listen to the expert. Hmm. 
Where I could see how dark it is. Pray, so they bolt out into the open. I can see how that'd work. I believe it's probably a monthly hunting for us, perhaps. to the Antom have in Arlathan Forest. No idea. But they were set in an ambush. Well, they certainly didn't reckon with your keen sense of smell. Come on. We can circle around. Hit them where they're not expecting us. because she attacked villages. Maybe they baited it into attacking the villages somehow to lure you out here. For someone named the Dragon King. <laughs> Stupid thing. Let's look around. I need to know what's going on. Rook. The Fang Scorcher's attacks will lure the Adari's group to you. Capture the Adari and kill the others. Then use the Blight to weaken the Fang Scorcher until it can be captured. Then they will reward us well for adding another fire breather to our arsenal of dragons. Do this and win the glory of ascension, Dragon King. Bastards! They're the ones who've been capturing dragons and blighting them. Turning them over to Gilanane in exchange for power. Hisra Marlock Vashvatari Rock! We knew the Antom were involved. Now we know it's the Dragon King. That's who we find and kill. We can get to the Fang Scorcher's lair up through there. Whenever you're ready. She knows we're here. That means quick beats quiet. Stay clear of the fire. It's like oil. It's on you and keeps burning. Oh. 
We're on top. No more on Tom. Dead on Tom. Kinds of fights. Today, you're Dragon Slayers. Now let's see what she had in her lair. Probably that big building over there. Yippee! The Dragon Slayer! <laughs> Is there anything else lying around on the floor? Oh, I see something shiny over there. Thought you could hide from me, did you? 
But you glow when I see you. Hmm, yes, gold. An imperial weave. Uh, yippee. Is there anything else? Nothing else. Oh. Give me something amazing. Let me know when you're ready to get out of here. Rip and rip. Plus seven minus fifty percent range attack fires three arrows at the same time. Man. like everything just tell me when you're ready let's head out now trophy from the fang scorcher she was a good fight thanks for listening to me during the hunt not everyone does You know what you're doing. I trust you. Well, you're also taking advice from the Elven God of Lies. <laughs> See? Honesty. This is why I trust you. <laughs> when you were standing over the dragon, you said something. He says Chakra to Ebra a lot. Ebra. It's the same thing your mother told you. You struggle the way you are? You must struggle with what you are. It's what she told me when I was a kid. Still does. So I don't let the dragon out. Meaning your fire breath? It's not just about the fire. It's about how stuff makes me feel. What I do when I'm angry. I've seen you get angry. When we first met, I saw you wreck those Antom who were after the Vinsimer. Assholes. But you've got it under control. Barely. I get, I can get this rage where I just have to break something and I can get stuck in arguments, needing things to be a certain way. The Antom would have turned me into a berserker, breathing fire across the battlefield, killing anything in my way. I don't want to be that. Tosh, you can't be afraid to feel things. No, weren't you listening? It gets too much. You can control what you do about those feelings, yeah. But that doesn't mean pretending you don't feel them. You are Ravani. You have the freedom to let yourself feel things instead of locking them down. I mean, we just killed a dragon thanks to you. How hard can anything else be after that? Yeah, I guess you're right. I think I'm ready to talk to my mother about who I really am. Yeah? Yeah. I just killed a dragon. How hard can talking to my mother be after that? Might invite her to the lighthouse. Maybe that way she doesn't spend the whole time talking about that old tablet. I'm still a little concerned about whoever sent the Antom. They mentioned the Dragon King? Yeah. The asshole who's capturing dragons and blighting them for Gillanane. I'll ask Isabella to look for him. Still a stupid name. Hmm. Dragon King. Dragons wouldn't have kings. They'd have queens. The trap had failed. The Fang Scorcher was dead. But the Dragon King was a patient hunter. All he needed was a little help from a trader 
in the Lords of Fortune uh... to set a new trap. And the bait was sure to bring Tosh running. Oh shit. Ready to level up your punching experience? Have a good fight. I'm guessing the new quest is Tosh. First, we'll talk to Tosh here. After I overhear this conversation. That thing you said about Gillanane, it jogged a memory. A warden claimed he found his way under a mountain. Saw a pool that merged creatures into new, terrible forms. Right, that matches some of the legends. They say she healed people in those pools. That warden? His story, it could have been demons or just nightmares of a bad time. Now I wonder. Well, we haven't found one yet, so let's hope we never do. And how goes our progress here? Need and Oh, knowledge. good bit off. All right. This is where we eat. I see. Shathan, it's good to see you again. My child wished to show me where she now lived. I made food. Here, Armada Special. It's what the pirates eat when they come to port. This is too rich for me. Perhaps you could prepare some vegetables. Fine. A few weeks in your company, and my child has lost what little civility she had. We actually eat dishes from all over. Lucanus has introduced us to demon hair pasta, hmm. and Bellara made holla cakes. So my child respects every culture except her own. This is what I face for removing her from the Kune. Tosh is making a life here with us and wanted to share that with you. So, I can see how happy my child is to have abandoned the ways of our people? You're the one who brought Tosh to Ravain, and to my team, for that matter. If that's not what you wanted... I have failed, yes. I was never taught how to be a mother. Under the Kune, children are raised by those suited to such pursuits. I trained as a scholar. I was taught to think critically, to analyze without passion, and correct mistakes. You need not tell me that I am an inadequate mother. I am aware. Then why did you leave? 
When I see my child in danger, I act. Here, vegetables. Thank you. So, I'm non-binary. What does that mean? It means I don't feel like a man or a woman. If you are neither a man nor a woman, then what are you? They just told you. Non-binary. I just said, and I'm going to use they instead of she from now on. If this is because I have criticized your dress or your manners... It isn't! Under the Kuhn, the term for one whose gender does not match the one given to them at birth was a Kuhnathlok. Perhaps you are like that. Why do you have to keep picking at it? Why can't you just be happy for me? Evitash, Chakra Toebra. So I'm supposed to struggle with who I am? Even if I don't feel like I fit? Even if I feel wrong? No, you misunderstood. Then say it better! Why am I never enough for you? I will go. Thank you for inviting me to your home, Panahedan. You didn't eat the veggies she made for you. Fuck you. No, I'm not gonna say she needs time. Fuck that. Fuck her feet. I don't like her. No, it's Tasha's mother. I feel like that'd be... Tasha's trying to connect with her mother. And that doesn't seem like a... Oh, so I just call him sorry? Tosh, I am so sorry. No. It's okay. Tosh. I'm not hiding anymore. How she takes it is her problem. You sure? Yeah. Come on. Don't let food go to waste. These scenes are where Tosh fucking shines. This is how Tosh should be written throughout the game consistently. But they aren't. <laughs> they aren't. And it's painful. <laughs> when they aren't... Ugh, when they aren't written like that. When they write, or write them... When they write Tosh off as stupid. I hate it. What are you two chatting about? Emrick, if you liked someone, oh. what would you do? To show them you like them, I mean. Perhaps a stroll through the memorial <laughs> gardens of the Emmerich. Lovely flowers. Don't, you know, spirits hang around there? Oh, a few, certainly. Hey, baby dragon. Remember how you said I'd never find a big horn? You're wrong, and I'm amazing. Come to the hall if you want to see my hall. I had to buy a whole new ship just to carry it for my gold and my glory. Ethelred the Totally Ready. That's a reference I know! Because there's an Anglo-Saxon king by the name of Ethelred the Unready. I like that. Uh-oh. Game gets a 10 out of 10 just for this reference. Thanks again for talking with me. Being non-binary feels good. Fuck yeah, Tosh. So Tosh being more Ravani. Feels good to just own it. Tosh.
Hello, kittens. We've had word of a ship getting attacked by a dragon. A big one. Maybe even Kataranda herself. Just off the coast. Keep an eye out for survivors, and if one of them is that Ethelred, tell him to get back here so I can give him a mild stabbing for idiocy, hugs, and kisses. Stormriders get really possessive about their hordes. She'll be tracking the scent of anything that got taken. Looks like they're talking about a dragon, Kataranda? Kataranda the Stormrider. She's bad. She's real bad. Breathes lightning, like the Vinsimer. The Vinsimer was kind of friendly, though. Kataranda isn't. She is a bad dragon. At the Ravane's coast, all right. Perhaps this lost treasure is in the wreckage nearby? All right. <laughs> you know, Tosh, I discovered a large jar inlaid with a golden flame pattern at that Kunari burial site I examined. I presume it was for storing specific organs after death? No, the Asolitar doesn't hold anything. It stays empty. Like the body is empty now. jar inlaid with a golden flame pattern at that Kunari burial site I examined. I presume it was for storing specific organs after death? No, the solitaire doesn't hold anything. It stays empty. Like the body is empty now that the spirit is gone. Ah, it seems you know something about ancient Kunari customs after all. What? No, that's... everybody knows that. Oh, I'm trying to climb. There we go. <laughs> Cataranda threw that ship like a toy. Yep. Lightning dragons get real mad when you go after their treasure. Looks like something took the treasure and... buried it? Thank you.
flew off with the treasure. Dragons aren't Bitch. the only ones who like to collect anything shiny. Bird. Bird. <laughs> Perhaps we could leave the bird something else that shines in exchange. We have to pay you? I feed you breadcrumbs every week. Nope again. Bitch. Hit too far of a drop. You okay. guys. This is all of the treasure stolen from Cataranda. Let's get to the beach where I lured the Vincimer. Plenty of open space for a good fight. And be ready with poisons. Lightning dragons are more sensitive to poison than most. Like necrosis poison? Because if so, this thing's dying real quick then. <laughs> Let's go.
Outsider, we are drinking for free tonight. And I believe there may be some treasure caught in her scales. Yep. Storm Riders carry around bits of their hoard. I think maybe they get worried when it's not with them. Now what we got here? Audacity. Each sword attack consumes an arrow and grants plus 50% bonus damage. Ooh. You could... With that... That could be a combo. Max out arrow regen. Have high arrow regen and a high amount of arrows on person. Yeah, I could see a build getting made with that. That'd be fun. Next out the Hall of Valor. We have enough gold to pay for them to max out the shop. Oh, everything here is cursed. For there means back to Arlathan Forest okay, let me check who Bell is six well, let's rock with Lucanus and Bell for a little bit Have a quest with Davra. You need me for a fight, just say the word. Hassan can get the gate. Another truffle hunt? No, mm. we're meeting Eldred. The old elf I told you about. I spent summers here. Tended hollow when I was a kid. Hard to imagine the mighty hunter hanging out. Hassan, hang back. Eldrin, I got your message. Oh? Who are you? It's me, Davrin. I knew a Davrin once. Strange kid. Too small, even for an elf. 
Well, now, hold on. So, this walking mountain of armor I see before me can't be hidden. <laughs> you sure got old and cranky. You got old and far too good looking. I was always the lady killer. This is Rook. We're working together. And can you be trusted around our holler, Rook? I'd be honored for the chance to earn their trust. The holler decide that. And if you don't impress them, their antlers let you know. Arlathan Forest is wrong in a way I've never seen. We know. The holler aren't coming around. And these old bones aren't up to the task of chasing them anymore. I'm worried they're sick. I need you to check on them for me. Asan, I told you. Is that what I think it is? I'm looking after him. Remarkable. A griffin. Never thought I'd see one. Maybe all those summers here rubbed off. The monster hunter turned shepherd. What was Davern like back then? We don't need to waste Eldrin's time with... He sang a lot. This guy? He'd sing to the holler. You mean the Grey Warden standing next to me? Now hold on. I'd get tired trying to hurt them. I started humming to keep myself awake, and they slowed down to listen. <laughs> so naturally, you broke out into song. Only when humming didn't work. Just getting the job done. And now the job is caretaker to a griffin. Asan's got him wrapped around his little talon, searching all over for ginger wort truffle. Yeah, yeah, Eldrin's heard enough. Uh, Davrin, the truffle hunter? Um. Seems my old lesson sunk in. Not every creature in the forest is quarry. I didn't ignore everything you said. And now, we've got some holler to find. Davrin, I'm glad to see you took the road less traveled. It suits you. Okay, what do we do? Find some stone, a marble tree, and banner berries. I thought we were looking for holler. A lot of people would go chasing after them, running around, getting nowhere. Holler can keep that up for days. Maybe you could sing to them. I'll go right on pretending you didn't say that. No. Trick I learned. Ringing the dinner bell is a lot <laughs> easier than searching the whole damned forest. Here we go. Found a marble tree. See if it has a... Got it. It's hollow, right? When you blow through it, it mimics a hollow's call. The dinner bell. Not ringing it yet, but that's the end. Here. Sweet as candy. Hollow lap them up. Interesting. I wonder what they taste like. Don't even think it. Uncle Eldrin let me try one once. As a lesson. It lasted an hour. Paralysis, hallucinations, cramps. Ugh. Uh huh. Great for Hala. Bad for people. <laughs> Over here. Stone root. Dig up a. F Good. Hang on to that. We slice away the outer husk. There's seeds inside that mimic the Hala mating scent. I thought we were ringing the dinner bell. Maybe it's a romantic dinner. Time to get out that marble branch and call the Hala. He sounds excited. Let's hope it's that and not I'm hungry for venison. It's on the other side of this. He senses something. Could be Hala. We've got a griffin. The song can track them. I need to be careful of the predator in him that's ingrained to hunt and kill things before they kill him. He'd attack the Hala? Probably not, but he's never seen one. Trust in him, Daphne. 
Trust in your boy. No. I can understand that he is a... This is a good spot. Lay out the stone root and banner berries. Oh no. It looks sick. It's okay. We're here to help. How do we help? Look around for more Vanterberries. Asan, don't you even think about going after. Him. Remember, trust. Right. Turlum. Okay. Asan, do as I would do, boy. Be nice. Did uh, Asan just bring in some food? He did. I'll be damned. Won't forget that anytime soon. Thanks for helping out. I just blew a horn. Hassan's the one who put on the show. There's more to him than hunting Darkspawn. Eyes of an eagle, roar of a lion. But maybe the heart of a holla. <laughs> and the appetite of all three. You found your Turlum. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Come on, boy. You did good. We'll need to tell Aldrin about this Hala. <laughs> Easy there, girl. You just enjoy that meal. So your uncle is quite the character. Aldrin will drink you under the table, then the floor, then bury you in the basement as a joke. Oh. Most of my clan Lovely. didn't understand why I left. Eldrin had an open mind, saw I was restless. He approved? He knew I had to find my own way, though he warned me about joining the wardens. Too dangerous? Too much darkness. Eldrin always preached balance in life. Not something Grey Wardens seem to know much about. We reek of darkspawn all the time. I guess that's why working with Hassan... There's something to be said for drawing strength from the light. Hey. Hey, big chest. Need some good. Momentum gen, 25% ability cost refunded on impact. Ooh. Is that the last chest I needed for our other phone? Won't tell me. All right. We. Any luck? We found one. Looked sick. I was afraid of that. If you can find more Vanna berries... Hassan took care of it. And Griffin helped to holler? 
It's like he was a shepherd. I couldn't believe it. Remarkable. Nothing about that in the training manual. The world knows griffins as warriors who fought dark spawn, but they existed long before that. Existed as what? A creature of the wild, free to explore their nature. But griffins live for the hunt. So do you. Yet now, you're a caretaker. I'm proof that anything can change. Don't know if it's for the better. Nothing about change is ever certain. I once knew a restless young elf who believed there was more to life than shoveling hollow manure. It's the nature of nature to surprise us. Maybe you're right. See you around, Eldrin. I'm sure if we were to go back to Lighthouse Davern, we'll probably have more to say, but we're here, so we will just go to help the Veil Jumpers with the quest they have here. I hope that was not the missing chest. chest. Deep stalker spotted. Or anything hiding back here? Strife, I got a tip. There might be trouble here in Arlathan. You're just in time. We've got a problem. I was out with a scouting party, and we spotted the Venatori moving into the area. They're being directed by Elgernon or Gilanane. They have to be. The Grey Wardens warned us the gods were heading to Arlathan. But why bring the Venatori? We don't know. That's where you come in. Well, that sounds like trouble. How can I help? Nip it in the bud. Don't let them stir up anything worse. I'll give you the rough location where we sighted them. But you might have to search beyond that. They want something. And we need to know what they're up to. I'll find out what it is. Feel free to take out as many of them as you can. This is our forest. Aye, aye. This place makes the back of my eyes hurt. This was the center of a war between Tevinter Magisters and ancient elves. Blood magic everywhere. The Magisters destroyed Arlathan City. That kind of magic leaves an impression. Benatori, you... Berlin was right. Let's pick him out. That's the last of them. Good. Now, what were they doing out here? Looks like they set up a camp. Let's take a look. Not sure what this is. Ballara? It's Dalish. There's a Dalish camp nearby. If the Venatori hit them... They could be in trouble. Let's go. Now. Where the fuck am I going? God damn it. I'm gonna go up that ladder.
Ah. We've seen Venatori out here okay. before. They're always looking for relics. I wonder if that's what the gods have them hunting for. Oh, hello. Looks like we got them all. But this many Venatori and Arlathan is just wrong. Never seen it like this. At least we're headed the right way. Arlathan Forest is as weird as ever. Come on, Rock seems stable enough. Let's get through here. That's because we already solved the issue that was here. Galadar, what's happening? The Venatori are rounding up Dalish. I locked that barrier, but some of them already got through. Hold on. Rounding up Dalish? There are more Dalish inside the ruins. There were camps there. All right, get back to Strife in Ireland and let them know. Damn it. Still locked. Rook, over the door there. Symbols. Okay, let's get it unlocked. This one. That worked. Keep going. This one. Well done. Time to get moving. Such a big brain. Venatory plans are always twisted. They wouldn't come here at random. They want something. Who says they don't have a reason? We have to get in there. There they What do you want? Why are you attacking my people? Soon enough. We still don't know what they're doing here. Let's keep looking around. The 
bridge is out. The other veil jumpers must have shut it down to keep the Venatori out. There has to be a power crystal around here. Someone's not having a good time. Listen. Check for any loot. Okay, before saving people that are in danger, we look for loot. Now like let's this. see what they've done with the Dalish. I hope I don't fuck myself by going this way. I hope I can get back up. for me, eh? Help! 
We'll get you out of there. Hang on. More symbols, like before. Shouldn't be hard. That did it. Let's see what she has to say. It's okay. You're safe. I'm a veil jumper. What happened here? That other veil jumper died making sure I was safe. She sealed the barrier before the Venatori could get me. What about the rest of the Dalish? They took everyone. Kidnapped them all. Why? Where'd they go? I... I don't know. The leader said they need Dalish blood, some sort of sacrifice. Sacrificed? Why am I not surprised? This just got a whole lot worse. We need to figure out where the Venatori took them. Let's look around. If they lay one finger on those prisoners. Some papers here, but nothing useful. No mention of a location. Well, it doesn't look like the Venatori brought many supplies with them. They must have a nest close by. We find it. Maybe we find the Dalish. Yeah. Just some mud here. But it looks like there's some kind of glass here, too. Glass? Wait a second. There's a crater nearby. Thousands of years ago, blood magic destroyed that area. All that energy right. turned the sand to glass. And we know the Venatori didn't come very far. They must have taken the Dalish to the crater. We got here as fast as we could. It's bad. They're kidnapping Dalish to sacrifice them. What? You're what? serious? These Dalish were caught by surprise. One survived, but the rest... Will live just long enough to be sacrificed. Even for the Venatori. This is evil. Where did they take the prisoners? The lake. The old crater. We have to do something. We'll find them. But it'll take time to put together a rescue party. Don't take too much time. We need to stop this. We will. Let's head back to the lighthouse. We'll meet the Veil Jumpers there. There's something there. It's still a Veil Jumper. Everyone's got a quest for me. Brooke and Tosh. Can't believe you defeated Kataranda herself. As soon as we stole her treasure, she was on our ship like deep stalkers on a nug. I tried my hexing spells, but it turns out dragons do not give one lyrium infused crap about magical curses. I went overboard. I washed up on the beach and spent a week trying to get inland with dodging lightning like a seer who sassed a pride demon. Isabella says I'm lucky I didn't end up a scorch mark like Ethelred. I believe I let him talk me into this. Hopefully it's the last time I take an ugly job because of, his, because of a cute ass. Next time you drop by the hilt, ask for fabs. That's how most people know me here. The drinks are on me. Broken Tosh. Ireland says your team took down the tank scorcher. Leaf and I were with the Veil Jumpers getting civilians out of the area, but we were used to dealing with demons angry at old magic, not dragons angry at interlopers. We hunkered down as best we could, but she would have gotten to us eventually if you hadn't drawn her away and defeated her. We haven't seen any further sign of on-time activity in Arlathan, but we'll keep our eyes open. In the meantime, we're helping some villagers rebuild safely. Rook, we watch Darkspawn movement as always. They put up a fight when wandering the woods and wetlands, but we'd rather battle them out there 
Then in Lavendale itself. Small improvements are still improvements. I felt something strange was happening before you sent word to us. Things have only gotten stranger and more daunting since. But if we are tangled in this, at least we are tangled together. There's no one I trust more in this world than Evka. But you can be second. May we both wish you luck and rest when you can find it. Friends, Antoine and Evka. Thalaise, known as the Hearth Keeper, was characterized by our people as a domestic goddess when the truth was more complicated. Our exploration suggests that Thalaise was most likely elevated to the ranks of the Evanuers for her work as an architect, and for designing and building Arlathan itself. Arlathan's legendary wonders were of her design, and so were the magical wards that protected the city. Thalaise likely worked closely with June, the artisan. Jesus Christ, okay. Yeah, no, fine, I guess I'm not doing any reading. We'll just end it there, because it's glitching a lot. Oh god, I hope that's not a... Definitely feels like as we get deeper into the game, there's a bit more bugs. Let's see, so we're 40, 46 hours in. I'm going to end there for tonight. Shorter stream than what I've been doing as the norm. Because I got poop. I, I got I to take a dump. Y'all didn't need to know that, but, um, I told you anyway. There's no one else live to raid, but. Hey, Clay and Philip and Spook Nukem, thank y'all for hanging. I will be back to. Actually, I won't be back tomorrow night. I have something. I might stream in the afternoon. I don't know. But I won't be able to stream tomorrow night, most likely. So. See you next stream, I guess. Goodbye.